Good evening, folks. I've been imploring you to do this homework for a reason, and as I said yesterday afternoon, you can't actually get to the truth about the Earth disaster cycle without the correct cosmology. It's not just the vastness and the history of the universe, but galactic structure and astrophysics with implications for our planet Earth in the disaster as well. If you did the homework, you know that there is much about the galactic constituents that will need to change in the coming years, the material they missed, the electromagnetic forces of that material, and the dust that's been hiding it, hiding it at small scales as well as the larger ones. The galactic jet torus sheet model, which has not only been confirmed over and over since 2017, but which Billy also recreated in the lab, and which has been flushed out as a radial spiral with the magnetic fields of the galaxy following suit, which is also depicted in this video from NASA. The structures of the dust, structuring into waves in that electromagnetic system, whether that's in the galaxy or in experiments on the ISS, is probably starting to make you realize the connection with the galactic current sheet. The reason this matters, as you might guess, is because without these relatively new astronomical truths, that galactic current sheet couldn't be known or understood, nor could the impacts of it on our solar system and our planet. Basically, everything in this very critical 19-minute video, which is part of your essential viewing homework at this channel, so I'll say it again. Without the correct cosmology, there is no discovering the galactic current sheet, its electric field, its holding the galactic magnetic reversal point, or its attraction of dust and neutrals and ions. Without that, you cannot explain how the entire solar system is changing right now in the same way, at the same time, and why some of those changes only make sense from a galactic magnetic perspective. Without it, you can't understand why it has the ability to temporarily shut down the electrical processes in the photosphere and chromosphere, halting the solar wind, allowing material to build in the corona, and then triggering the solar micronova when that opposing galactic polarity sets in. You can know there is an Earth disaster cycle, maybe even predict it with the timing, but without the correct cosmology, you cannot understand the why, the how, and the biggest picture. If you can understand what I've just told you, you can now imagine also the truth in my assertion that it also opens the door to solar climate forcing. So again, it matters. You may think of cosmology as separate and distinct from the other things we do here, but it's not. And without it, none of the space weather, climate, earthquake forecasting, or catastrophism science we've put forth here would be possible. I hope this big picture perspective was illuminating, and I will see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.